Hello, students. Congratulations on finishing up your first section. Now we're on to the next section where we're going to be setting up some of the technical stuff for you. Uh, your eBay account, your PayPal account, and your source accounts. So that being said, if you already have an eBay account, um, it might already be what's called a buyer's account. Um, you still want to make sure you watch this lecture to convert it over to a seller account, okay? If you already have a seller account set up, then you're all good to go. You still, again, want to watch this lecture just in case you might have missed something here. So real quick, uh, very easy to do. You're going to go to ebay.com, click on register, and right here is where you're going to be filling out your information. So go ahead and uh, put in your first name, your last name your email address that you want to use for this account. Okay, go down and hit submit. And then you're going to hit continue. All right, and your account is set up, but this is just set up to buy. All right, so now we're going to convert this over to a seller account. On the top left hand side, you're going to click on, not click on, but you're going to hover over your name and the drop down menu right here. You're going to go ahead and click on account settings. Then in the middle of the screen, you're going to click on learn more. Okay. You're going to scroll down to the middle. On the right hand side actually. And click on getting started selling on eBay. From there, you're going to scroll down to the middle and you'll see a link where it says set up a seller account now. Also want to mention that you definitely want to have your credit card in front of you and also your phone in front of you that will definitely speed up the process. You're going to go ahead and put in your primary address, telephone number. All right. Hit continue. Then it's going to confirm the information that you put. Um, if your phone has text message capability, you can have them text you the code. Uh, if you don't have that, you can have them call you to give you the code. So I'm going to go ahead and have them text me. Okay, enter in the pin and then hit continue. Okay, now here you're going to select your payment type. Basically, this is what eBay is going to use to charge you for the fees that you incur when you're selling items on eBay. Um, you can do either a PayPal account, a credit or debit card, or a bank account, whichever one you prefer. Um, you can even do a PayPal account the same way that you get paid. You can have them debit out of that account. If you want, you can use a credit card. doesn't matter. Uh, a couple of advantages to using a credit card though is, is if you uh, have a credit card that's set up with cash back, um, you can definitely get a percentage back. Um, on your uh, credit card. So whichever option you pick, go ahead and click that option and then click continue. Here we're gonna put our credit card information. Okay, hit agree and continue. All right, and you are all set. Your account is now ready to list products for your store. Before we get into all the details on how to do that, you wanna make sure you go ahead and click on the eBay button at the top left hand side. Uh, from there, you're gonna see a link for My eBay. This is what we call the My eBay back office. And at first glance, it might seem um, very complicating and there's a lot to it. It's actually very simple. I would encourage you to take a few minutes, kind of browse around and click around and get to know your back office and uh, check everything out. And with that, we're gonna be going over the next few lectures on. Uh, how to optimize your store settings and then get you start to uh, list some items and start making money.